Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. In the previous video, we worked on this section of our website. So now we are going to work on the footer. Okay, as you can see here. So we are going to try to design this footer using Bootstrap and CSS. So this is the continuation of a series of videos. So I have already made uh, four videos. The first one was on how to create this header. The second one was on how to create this uh, accordion. The third one was on how to create this uh, media slider. The fourth one was on how to create this, our blog uh, section. And then the fifth one is going to be on how to create this footer. So I'm going to put the links to the previous videos in the description so that you can get access to that. If you want to watch from the beginning, that's going to be okay. If you just need this portion of the website to add to maybe another project that you're working on, it's no big deal. So now let's quickly go to our uh, HTML file. So I am going to scroll down here and in here I will comment or say footer section. So this is going to be the footer section, but before we work on uh, the footer, I will first add another section, uh, add a class section. Uh, this class will be section subscribe. So for the newsletter, and I'm going to add a bootstrap class be delight inside i'm going to add a bootstrap class container i will add another bootstrap class row with justify content center then align items center i'll add another column md 12 mb4 then h1 we have a class of heading so inside a heading, I will simply say get news and updates. So that's it. I will add another class column MD12. Inside, work on the form. I'll have a method post. So in the form, I will add a class row. Then I will add another column in this row. Then I will give a margin button like this. And then I can add some input. That'll be form control. The type will be text, uh, the class form control, and then the place holder. Simply say your name. So that's it. I will copy for the second input. Uh, the type will be email. And instead of your name here, I will say your email. Then here the, the third input, the type will be submit because I want it to be a button and I will change the class. So I'll say BTN, BTN secondary. I will remove the placeholder and write the value and say subscribe. Okay, so now if we come to our website, there you can see we are having our button, the input, and then we're having the button here. So one thing is that I want my button to occupy the whole column, okay? So the padding to extend to the width of the column. So I will say uh, width 100. So this is a bootstrap class that will allow me to get my this subscribe button to extend up to the... Um, to occupy the whole width of the column. So as you can see now, you can see that the subscribe text is at the middle because it is normally occupying. When I'm gonna add a styling, you will understand what I mean by that. So that's it. So now we can work on the footer. So just after the section tag, I will add a footer tag. This footer tag will have a class of site footer and inside other container class, which is a bootstrap class. I am going to add a row class, which is another bootstrap class. And I'm going to add some uh, margin bottom to that class. Then I will also add a column, then some margin bottom 
files like this. Then inside, uh, add h2 tag. I'll say about us. After that, let me add a p tag and I will put some dummy text 28 this. I will add another p tag inside the p tag. I'll add a link and I will say click here to learn, to learn more. So that's it. So I will add another column, medium three, margin bottom five, each two contact address. Then I'm going to add an unordered list with a class of a bootstrap class of list unstyled. I can add another class, which is going to be footer link. So my li tag will have a class of uh, a bootstrap class deflex. And inside I can add some span tag. Uh, I will have a bootstrap five class, which is a margin end. So this is going to allow to put some space between uh, some writing. So I'm going to say address and I'm going to add another span tag with a class of text white because I would want the text here to be white. Um, I can add some text. So that will be 28 Avenue name, name here, country name. So that's it. I will simply copy this, paste it. So I will write telephone. So after telephone, I will specify maybe the email. Then I will change the text here. Your email at your admin. So after that, let me save this. I refresh. Now we can see some text here. I can't see any anything here because the text is white, All right? So I'm gonna add another column. So MV3, again, some margin bottom in here and H2 tag, and I'm gonna say quick links. Again, some unordered list, a bootstrap list on styled class and footer link. Then I'm gonna add a link and I'll say about us. Simply say testimonials, our pets, blood articles, and contact us. So that's it. I'll come down. I will add another column, md3, h2 tag, and I'll say our social. Then I will say unordered list, list, on style, footer link, and um, say deflex because I want the social media icons to show on um, to show horizontally. So I will add a bootstrap class called deflex that will make sure that they show horizontally. And then I will say li. I will add a link, and inside the link I will add a span tag. And then in the span tag, I'll add a class. In the class, I'll add my font as some icons. So I'll say Facebook. So I'll simply change here. Yes, uh, Twitter, Instagram, in. I can add the last one that I will call YouTube. So that's it. Now, after you have done that, we can add another row. So simply create a div with a class row and inside this div create a column give it 12 points and add a class that would be a text center text uh, left add a p you can simply say is made with now let's add a font of some icon f a heart no this is going to show a, the heart icon. So that's it for the HTML part of the website. So let me refresh. You can see all the links and all, everything is shown here. So now let us now go to our HT, uh, the CSS part. So I will simply comment here and say footer section. 
So for the footer section, we will start with the, the class that we called section subscribe and I will say part in 5em0. So now you can see that there is a part in and we'll work on the form control. This is a class actually, so I'll say class like this. Outline is here none. And the web kit box shadow none. And I will say important. So this is going to remove the box shadow. And I want the height of a form control element to be 550 uh, pixels and save. So now let me come here. So this is going to increase this, the height of the form, the button and everything. And let me refresh. So now you can see the size has increased. And when I click in my input items or elements, no box shadow is showing. So now we can work on the form control again. And we say this time, whenever I focus on the form control, so that will be WebKit, box shadow, and I will give these values. And then say box shadow. I'll simply copy the values and paste it. So that's it. So I will say form control again, focus and form control. This time I will say active, simply say outline, none. So let me come and refresh. So this is what is happening. You can see when whenever we focus, we are having some box shadow. Okay, so let us work on the class BTN. So we will give the very same box shadow to the button as well. And we can also work on the BTN. BTN secondary, so the color will be white. Um, the border width, two pixels. The background will be BC like this. And the border color will be red like this as well. And then the padding will be 10 pixels. Let me refresh. Now you can see the button. So we made a mistake here. So instead of, we wrote secondary, so we say secondary and save. So when we come back and refresh, now you can see that the button is having the properties that we specified in our CSS. Now let us start working on the site footer. So site footer, have a pattern of 5EM0 and then the background, a uh, red background color, and the font size will be 14 pixels. As for the color, with some grayish color, so again, site footer P, just margin bottom will be zero, and a site footer A, so this is going to be for all the links in uh, site footer. I'm going to give a different color. It will be a yellow kind of a color. And the border bottom, one pixel, solid, transparent. I'll say site footer, a hover, say color, FF. Then the border bottom will still be one pixel, solid, RGBA, 255. 255, 55, 0.2. Site footer, H2, font size, 22 pixels. And margin bottom, 8 pixels. Letter facing, 05 EM. Color. Then here, I will say site footer, footer link, li. So the first thing will be to style the line height, that will be 1.5. And then we will specify the margin bottom will be 15 pixels. Then we will say that we are going to work on footer social. So this, this is going to be for the social media icons, the font has some icons. So the line height will be zero. And then the border radius will be 50%. And the margin, so I'll say five pixels, five pixels, zero. Zero pixels, five pixels, five pixels, zero pixel. And the border, one pixel solid, 
RGBA 255, 255, 255, 0 0.1. So the width, 30 pixels. The height, 30 pixels. Text align will be the center and display will be inline block. Then I will save. The last one will be footer social a hover and background will be white. For the border color will be white as well. The color will be black. So this is it. You will see how the footer will be transformed thanks to all the um, all we made. So I can change the color of text. So here I will simply say F5, F5. I'll simply say white, white. And I need to actually add a class to my um, social media. So I would say, I did, did I call it? I called it footer social. And I refresh. So here I'm going to say text MD. I will try to change the color. Let it be a little bit gray. Let me fix that a little bit again. This one is better. So we are going to add another CSS property here. This is going to be footer social that FA for the font as some class. And we will simply say margin top six pixels. So this is going to bring the font as some icon to the middle of, of the circle. Let me say seven. So guys, that's it on how you could um, actually design this footer. And uh, I hope this video was informative. And I just want to show you that this website is also responsive. Okay, if I go to inspect, as you can see, I can view this on various screen sizes. I can say Galaxy S5. You can see that the various sections of the website are showing. Okay, I have the slider here. I have the images, as you can see. I also have the footer. So it is pretty much responsive. So that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you for viewing and I hope this video was informative and please do not forget to like, to share, to subscribe to this channel and uh, let's meet in the next video.